Hi, welcome to the race briefing for the Outlaw Half Triathlon. My name's Ian Hamilton and I'll be your race director. Don't be confused, we're at the National Water Sports Centre, so the venue of the Outlaw Half Nottingham and Outlaw Triathlon. Um, we've just been organising the club relays, so it's just a quick opportunity to uh, welcome everybody to Outlaw Half Bowwood. And um, please spend the next 10, 15 minutes just watching the video that we've put together. We hope your preparations have gone really well and we look forward to seeing you this weekend. Saturday is all about preparation. The Outlaw Expo and Outlaw Registration opens at 9.30. Transition will open at 10 with the future Outlaw event starting at 2.30. Race registration and race transition and the site will be closing at 4pm. Registration. All race packs must be collected between 9.30 and 4pm on Saturday. Before collecting your race pack, make sure that you know your race number. This can be found from the start list, which is on our website, outlawtriathlon.com. You also need to show either your current BTF race license or some kind of photographic ID before collecting your pack. If you haven't pre-purchased your BTF day license, then you can purchase one of these from registration for £6. Your pack will contain two race numbers, two sticker sets, that's one for your helmet and one for your bike, a security wristband which must be worn immediately, and your swim cap. Following collecting your race packs, you'll then collect your timing strap and your timing chip. Don't forget those on Sunday morning. If you've pre-purchased a car park pass, you can collect those from registration as well. Bike racking. You must rack between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Saturday. We've allocated 90 minute slots for each individual athlete. It's not a big problem if you're not able to make that slot. However, we just try to divide everybody up so there are no big queues. As we mentioned before, make sure you wear your security wristband because you need to show that as you go into transition. Make sure you fix your security stickers onto your bike before going in again. We'll be checking these as you go into transition. Saturday. Saturday is a good opportunity to learn. Get familiar with the event site. Take a walk around the venue. You can see most of the swim from the event site. You can see all the transition and part of the run. Take a bit of time to visit the expo. It's where you'll find race skin selling the official outlaw race merchandise. And obviously we've got various food and drink vendors there as well. Saturday at 2.30 is the future Outlaw Run and there are still entries available for that. Important, the event site closes at 4pm, meaning registration and racking will close immediately at 4. Please don't be late arriving. Information about teams that are racing. Any one person needs to attend on Saturday that they must not only register and rack the bike. That person must have all of the IDs of the team members. Don't forget, these can be current BTF licenses. All team members must either have a BTF license or they can purchase a day license for the day. Day licenses can be purchased from registration on the Saturday though. We've changed how we tag in the team category ever so slightly since COVID. We'll now be using the timing chip as a baton, and that'll go from the swimmer to the biker and the biker to the runner. All teams will be racked together in transition and tagging will take place where the bikes are racked. As another update, the whole team can now finish together down the finish straight, collecting all of their team t-shirts and team medals. Race day. Event car parks will be open on the Bowood Estate from 5.30. Please make sure you follow directions of the parking stewards. And also allow 10 minutes just to walk into transition. Transition itself will be open from 6am. Remember as you come in, you must show your wristband and you must be wearing your helmet that's fastened up as you come into transition. The swim will start at 7.30.
it'll be a time trial format with people starting in pairs approximately every 10 minutes. At 7.20, we will call the first 100 swimmers down to the start pen area. And from that point, we will call the next 100 swimmers down every 10 minutes. The swim course is a simple one loop around the edge of the lake in a clockwise direction. Remember to swim with your boys on the right, staying onto the left. Once you've completed the 1900 meter swim, you come out via the exit pontoon underneath the zone three man and run immediately up into transition. The cutoff for the swim is one hour, 10 minutes, and then a further 10 minutes to get through transition. And this is taken from the time when you start your swim. There will be a swim safety team on hand. And if you need assistance, please roll onto your back. And if possible, shout and wave your arms. If you require a little rest, that's not a problem. Hold onto a boat. Please take your time and ensure that you're safe to continue. If you do have any medical conditions, please let us know and we will give you a white swim hat at registration or the swim start. The bike. The bike is a 55.3 mile undulating single loop. Most of the roads that you will ride on will be normal open roads. However, many of the junctions are managed to give you priority. We do say though, please treat it as a normal Sunday morning ride. If you're required to give way or slow down, please do so. Please don't risk yourself or any other road users. We will have the course marked out by Saturday, should you wish to potentially ride or drive the course. Any surface defects will be marked by orange spray on the roads. If you see orange spray, please be careful. Any junction that requires you to turn will have an arrow before, an arrow on the junction, and then one afterwards. There'll be four types of vehicles to support you on the route. There'll be the motorbikes, the NEG riders as we call them. There will be an OSB mechanical vehicle and an OSB sweeper vehicle. The fourth type of support vehicle will be medical. Various ambulances will be situated along the route. Please remember, you are required to carry your own spares and you must know how to use them. We will be there to support you if we possibly can, but remember, it's 56 miles, there's a lot of people on the course, and we can't be everywhere at the same time. There's a feed station at 42 miles. Okay, if you want to use it, please remember you must slow down to collect your bottles. At the feed station, there's also a litter point and there will be toilets. Feed station itself will have high five energy, water, both in 750 ml bottles, as well as high five gels. There'll be timing points on the course, which will help us ensure we know where you are. And they'll be based at 1.5 miles and at 26 miles. And these will also be used to be tracking you for our live feed which will be on outlawtriathlon.com. It's important not to litter the course. We have a simple saying, if you can carry it when it's full, then you can carry it when it's empty. Remember, you can only drop litter at litter zones at 42 miles. Finally, at 37 miles, you'll come to a place called Broadtown. There's a very steep downhill. Tri bars are not allowed and you must adhere to the 30 mile an hour speed limit. The cutoff for the bike is a total of five hours 20 from your specific start time. The run. The run is 13.1 miles and is contained entirely within Bowwood House Estate. It's over three very undulating loops. Remember, at the end of loop one, turn left, and the end of loop two, turn left. At the end of loop three, go straight on and straight into the finish. Overall, there are nine feed stations. Three of these contain water, 
High Five Zero, High Five Energy, Coke, Banana, and various High Five gels, including caffeinated gels. Three of the feed stations are just serving water. So in total, you'll never be more than 1.5 miles away from either a full feed station or a water station. Each feed station has a litter drop area and toilets. In total, there are six timing points, so two per lap for our live trackers. And these will help us accurately know where you are on the route and being able to publish those on outlawtriathlon.com. Approximately one mile into the loop, there's going to be a gel wrapper drop point. These are for any gel wrappers and will help us to recycle all of the gel wrappers from the event. The cutoff of the run is in total nine hours. The finish. We're delighted to confirm that once again, friends and family can join you, the athlete, down the finish line again. However, we want to give everybody that amazing outlaw finish line experience and post-race photograph. So please be careful on the amount of people you bring down the finish line with you. We recommend only two children at a time. For anybody that's wanting to join you on the finish line, they must meet you at the FAF area and also ensure there is somebody to meet any children that come down the finish line with you at the post-finish line family collection point. Once you've finished, remember, collect your Outlaw Finishers t-shirt and medal. And don't forget, everybody is welcome into the athlete recovery area and into the athlete food area for your free post-event recovery and meal. Additional information. If you have friends and family that want to join you but can't make it to Bowwood, then why not tell them about the live tracker? It's available on outlawtriathlon.com. Don't forget, sign up for your pre-event half-price photographs via our photography partners AWOL. Low resolution will be given away free post-event, but if you'd like to buy high resolution, they'll cost you £10 rather than £20 if you sign up before the event. Presentations for overall winners will be held at 1pm and for age group and relay winners will be held at 4pm. And finally, our office closes at Wednesday at 5. So that's the race briefing. Hopefully that's helped you, you've understood anything. If you do have any additional questions, don't forget our office will close on Wednesday at 5 o'clock. So before then, please give us a call. Any other questions then? Give us a shout on social media and we'll try and answer them. Or remember, turn up on the Saturday, go to Enquiries, we'll answer any of your questions then. So finally, we just want to say thank you very much. Thank you for all the competitors that have entered, especially to those that have done a few of our events this season. Also, importantly, the crew, we couldn't do it without you. The volunteers, local club uh, Chippenham Try and Carn Smart, which are going to be looking after some of our feed stations. So, just a few days to go, make sure your preparation is good. We look forward to seeing you to wreck your bike on Saturday and then race morning on Sunday. Thanks everybody.